Hi guys, this is Odog from AMR Entertainment back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about position 3 or the offlaners that we will be seeing in the upcoming TI. Before getting into the video guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the AMR Entertainment channel. If you are on Facebook, don't forget to like the page and share this video with your friends and drop a thumbs up. Um, that will definitely help us in uh, growing together. Um, Let's get into the video. All right, guys, first up, we have Legion Commander. This is one of the strongest heroes in the current patch and in this meta, we will be seeing a lot of uh, Legion Commander being picked in the upcoming TI. Also want to mention if a team ends up picking Legion Commander as the second pick, it leaves a lot more space for the team to choose their other two cores. That's going to be the mid lane and the safe lane. And uh, this will have a big impact on the other team uh, watching Legion Commander being picked on the second pick, uh, which will force them to counter Legion Commander first and also leaves a lot more space for the other two cores of the team uh, to get less number of counters on the opposite side. Right guys, talking about uh, the laning phase of Legion Commander, if you like, uh, Overwhelming Odds is one of the strongest spells. Works pretty well against uh, the Illusion heroes. The more people are All there, the way. more damage you're gonna get uh, with the Overwhelming Odds and also gives you a lot of movement Attack. speed to move in the lane. The second spell that I want to talk about is going to be the Moment of Courage. Hi. It definitely works uh, the same way how uh, Axe's Helix works. The more you hit her, the more life steal she is going to get. So I really feel like she has a really, really strong uh, laning phase, and uh, it's going to be very hard for any safe laner to actually trade against a Legion Commander. And I want to talk about the last spell, which is going to be uh, press the attack in the lane. It gives you about 65 uh, attack speed and 30 uh, HP region for about 5 seconds. Uh, you can definitely buy a soul ring, which will uh, help you gain some mana. You can sacrifice some of your HP and use the heal to press the attack. And uh, uh, that can definitely help you uh, secure your lane or just uh, get a consistent heal alongside Moment of Courage. Um, the two players, according to me, which might uh, pick LC as the second pick or the first pick uh, in the upcoming TI. Absolutely. The first one is going to be Seb, as we all know, the legendary offlaner from Team OG. Yes. And the second one is going to be Faith Bian from uh, Team LGD. Those are my predictions for the players who will be picking Legion Commander in the upcoming TI. You're unstoppable. Right, guys, next up, I want to talk about uh, the two heroes that work pretty well with Legion Commander's duel. So, Legion Commander going up and Invoker using the Sunstrike can have definitely help Legion Commander get some duel damage. That's going to be the first one. And the second hero, or the classic Dota 1 combo, is going to be Legion Commander and Skyrath Mage. So, Legion Commander looking out for the duel, and the burst damage coming out from Skyrath Mage can definitely help him. Uh, gain some more uh, dual damage or easily finish off the enemy. So these are the two allies of Legion Commander in the game. Right guys, next up I want to talk about the counters of Legion Commander. I would say if Legion is trying to duel up, I think Bane can definitely reduce uh, the damage using the Enfeeble and that can actually counter uh, Legion Commander uh, in a duel. The second spell that I want to talk about of Bane is going to be Sleep or the Nightmare. Looks like that is one of the big counters for a Legion Commander's duel and uh, that will help you counter Legion Commander. And the last spell that I want to talk about uh, Bane's ulti or called the Fiend's Grip, one of the big counters of uh, Legion Commander or any single point target hero. Uh, Bane really, really disables Legion Commander in every aspect uh, and that way Legion Commander won't be able to duel against any of the enemies. So I really feel like Bane is a big counter for Legion Commander. 
You guys just want to summarize whatever information I've given yes. you. Legion Commander is one of the strongest offlaners uh, in the me. current meta. It can help you make a lot of space. It can help you force some fights On if you way. want. Uh, one of the good initiators in the game as well. Um, and uh, I mean, if you ever get like the dual damage, if you win the dual damage early on in the game, then buying a Desolator can yes. definitely help you uh, push these lanes. And you see how easily, without any damage right now, I mean, even though she's on level 30, without any extra damage, you can eat up the towers Absolutely. real quick. So I think a pretty good pusher as well. So the one big buff that I want to mention about mm -hmm. Legion Commander is uh, if someone buys press the attack it basically gives you a spell immunity or so called a bkb uh about 1.75 seconds and also reduces the cooldown of uh, press the attack by two seconds which means if you heal yourself you will have a 1.75 spell immunity which is pretty strong i would say i mean any uh any spell immunity is really really strong uh in this Deploy. game that is the first part the second part that I want to mention is going to be on level 25, you get plus 400 AOE press the attack, which means if I heal in a range or in an area, um, all, everyone that I have healed will also get a 1.75 seconds a BKB or uh, the spell immunity, which is so strong. The heal is so much, the attack speed is so much. And uh, you also get a free BKB. That's that's like so insane just by buying like a 1400 shard. Yes. And I really feel like this is a really, really big buff. And uh, with this, I can absolutely say we will be able to see a lot of Legion Commander picks in the upcoming TI. Right guys, diving into the second part of the video, I want to talk about Brewmaster uh, as the offlaner. I really think uh, Brewmaster is one of the strongest hero in this current patch uh, because of uh, uh, the Agnum Scepter, which definitely gives you two charges um, in the primal split or your ultimate. It is really, really hard to counter Brewmaster, and Brewmaster can just end up buying like a Lotus Orb in the game, and definitely that can just uh, help you debuff anything like Silence. Or, or any kind of other nukes or any other silences uh, or the diffusal blade. So I really feel like Brewmaster is one of the strongest heroes that we might be able to see first pick, first ban in the upcoming TI as an offlaner. All right, guys, uh, I want to talk about the laning phase of Brewmaster. I feel like Thunderclap is one of the best spells for Brewmaster. can really help you clear all the waves, so he definitely has a shoving wave capacity, which can also help him farm real quick. The second uh, spell that I want to talk about is going to be the Cinder Brew. Uh, gives you Ignite damage, which lasts about 5 seconds. It means uh, they will be taking uh, the Ignite. Uh, that's gonna last about five seconds and the last spell that I want to mention is gonna be Drunken Brawl which definitely gives you a dot chance and a critical chance active multiplier is about three and critical damage is about 145 percent that makes it so strong man it's like so strong look at the thing like I, I don't even have any items right now 113 damage without any items on the level seven that's insane this is what makes brewmaster so strong in the laning phase you can uh, if you lack some mana you can just uh, buy a soul ring that can help you fix up your mana problems as well in the lane also want to mention the players that we might see will be picking brewmaster in the upcoming ti the first one is going to be none other than seb from team og and the second one is going to be S4 from Team Alliance. I've seen him play Brewmaster and he's, he's super good at Brewmaster. So those are my two predictions for the upcoming TI. All right, guys, next up, I want to talk about the two allies of uh, Brewmaster. I really feel like Lich is one of the best laners alongside uh, Brewmaster because you have this slow and then you can also uh, slow him down with the Thunderclap, give some more damage and the Frostbite definitely hurts a lot um, in the lane. So I really feel like Lich is one of the best um, allies of Brewmaster in the lane. 
Alright guys, the second ally that I would want to mention is going to be Lion. We all know and we all love playing Lion. Uh, Lion is a very aggressive initiator on that support. With the stun, uh, can help you give some more damage. Can disable this guy for pretty long in the fight as well. And can help him finish off with the finger of death. So I really feel like it's a pretty good ally uh, to the Brewmaster in the lane. Right guys, next up I want to talk about the counters of Brewmaster. If Brewmaster lane against uh, a Silencer, I, I, I really feel like Silencer can give a lot of damage with Glaives of Wisdom because he has a really lo long range. The second spell that I want to talk about is going to be the Arcane Curse into the last word as we all know how buffed he currently is if Brewmaster tries to spam any spells into the lane then definitely Silencer helps him win the trade. And the biggest counter that Silencer actually has is going to be the Global Silence. If ever Brewmaster wants to initiate and you use the Global Silence before he casts the split, that just uh, gives him some silence. And uh, by the time if uh, you can uh, easily burst Brewmaster, then you can basically win the fight. Right guys, the second biggest counter uh, I want to talk about is going to be that Prophet. If that Prophet is ahead in levels of uh, the Brewmaster, then definitely even after using the Primal Split, I really feel like a Death Prophet can end the life of a Brewmaster real quick because all Exorcism has all the physical damage that you need to, to finish this guy off. And I really feel like Death Prophet wins the trade if she's ahead in levels and she's one of the biggest counters to uh, the Primal Split or uh, to, to the Brewmaster in the game. Alright guys, just want to summarize everything that I have told you by now, uh, talking about Brewmaster. Brewmaster is one of the biggest counters to any of uh, the Illusion heroes. And if you know that, I'm, I'm going to quickly show you guys, uh, just uh, making up some Illusions. If you get into the Primal Split and you're able to select the Storm one, and if you use this debuff, it's going to clear out pretty much all the Illusions that you need. Also, you can use the Storm uh, to keep an enemy out and outnumber the enemy. And if you're good at Micro, then use the Earth one to stun one more enemy as well. So I really feel like Brewmaster can make a lot of space in the team fights. Also want to mention uh, the two big items that we will see a lot of professional players will be buying in the upcoming TI. The first one is going to be Aghanim Scepter. The Aghanim Scepter basically just gives you two charges on the Primal Split, which means once the Primal Split is ended, you can use it again. So that's, that's just going to be one time. And you can also finish it off anytime you want. You can cancel it and you can select like one particular uh, spread. And if you select the spread and wherever the spread is positioned and you press uh, the primal split cancel again that's where your brewmaster is gonna tp that's gonna be uh one more buff that you're gonna get with the agnum scepter the second item that i want to mention after the agnum scepter is gonna be um the refresher orb so basically if i use both of my primal splits and now they're off cooldown and if i use the refresher i get more charges back again which is so big in a team fight just think about it four oh, yeah, charges yeah. and if some a brewmaster has also bought the agnim shard and you're good enough uh, with uh, a good micro then the primal split will give you four uh, spirits white spirit you have the fire you have the earth and you have the storm and you can use all these spells uh, to you know just uh, counter out someone and the debuffs and everything like that's that's just so insane and you can easily outnumber someone and also decide where you want to tp if uh, all your uh, four spirit brothers are a little bit in trouble just pull out one and use your ulti and that's how you will easily be able to escape as well in the team fight that makes him so strong alongside making all the space on the map and great initiation and great laning phase i really feel like brewmaster is a very very strong pick on that offlane and we will surely see brewmaster if not banned, we will surely see Brewmaster pick in the upcoming TI. Right, guys, uh, this was it for today's video for position three video. Um, I hope you really like the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, don't forget to like the page. Don't forget to share the video and drop a like uh, down there so I know 
that you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, this is Odog from AMR Entertainment signing off, and I'll see you in the next one. The spirit.